let's play. What are we doing today? We're doing my microscope today. Cool, so, talking microscope. The Geo Safari Junior talking microscope featuring the voice of Bindi Irwin. Nice. So cool. Cool. So, so should we open it up? Yeah, are we ready to do some learning today? Yeah. Cool, let's yeah. open it up and see what this microscope is all about. Check okay. it out. We've got batteries yeah. in it. We've got some batteries in it now. So this microscope, not unlike a real microscope, okay? So you've got your little lenses right here. You've got your little focusing area right here where all the lenses uh, are able to focus down and to see things that are really small. What's that? Um, so what we have in here, instead of like, so what we would normally have is we would put a, um, something on, on a slide. So if you had like some plankton or um, some other thing that you wanted to focus on, you would put in little plates and that's what the microscope would look at. Instead, they actually look like those are actual pictures of things, but from a microscope. So, um, so instead of us actually looking through it like it would be a microscope, those are pictures from a microscope, but that we will be able to see through our plain microscope here. Is uh -huh. that cool? Okay. Here, so, let's see the buttons around okay, here. Okay, so let's take a look. I love that. Very cool. Okay, so we got the power button here. Let's let's try this. What? That's so cool. Mom, can we test it out? Yep. Yeah! All right. So what I think is going to happen is once we put in a slide, Bindi is going to tell us what we're looking at. Yep. I think all these have like little codes on it and it will tell us exactly what we're doing. Ready? Yeah! All right. Let's check it out. All right. Let me try to put one in here. Okay, let's see. we got to figure out which... Like, oh, oh, it's just like this. So let's go. What? It's a human hair. What do you see? I can see it. You want to see? Very cool. Here, Shire, you look through there too. What's the? For a quiz. What's let's the learn. Here. Yeah, let's learn. Right. Let's learn about human hair. The outside layer of a hair strand is made of overlapping scales. Let's learn another fact. And oh, okay. So hair is made of the same material as your fingernails. Oh wow! See, see. So. Wow. Is it cool? Okay, let's take a look and see some more hair here. Wow! Very neat. Can I see some more? Okay. Wait, we've got one more here that we're going to do. Can I? We've got one more hair <laughs> that we're going to look at. All right, let's look at the third one. Yep. Okay, Shire, go ahead and help me push down on the slide here. Can you help me push down? Good job. Yeah, see, it does, it gets a little tangly from time to time. <laughs> Look at how many slides it actually comes with, guys. So. And there are tons of facts about every little thing that you so, guys are gonna okay, see. Let's slide out. Yeah, so insects, so here's a bee, here's a fly, here is an ant. Wow, this is really cool. I wanna learn about ants. A, a flea. Wow. What? Okay, let's learn about ants. Very cool. And this one over here on the other side is oh, a fingerprint. <gasps> a human fingerprint. You guys, do you guys want to see the fingerprint? Sure, should we do the fingerprint real quick? Yeah. Here, let's put that one in here real quick. Okay. okay. Oh, this is a fingernail, it looks like. Okay, bud, I'm going to put it in. I know. Take a look. Human skin. Human skin, listen. Under the fingernail is actually the nail bed. A nail bed is where you is where you place the nail on. And there's little thingies that that make your um nail much longer. But only if you take care of it. Oh, that looks like my fingerprint. Can I, it looks like my fingerprint. Can I do this one? Your yeah, skin is the 
largest part of your body. It covers all of you. What? Your it's the largest part. Your skin is waterproof. So oh! waterproof. Wow. wow you take a look. You're from getting hurt. Let's learn another fact. Move the slide. Very cool. Okay, we'll do one more. It's a feather. <gasps> okay. A feather. Okay. What? What's a feather, Shire? A feather is a little thing, Pick and sometimes and it, it, on the and it always comes out of pillows or like anything else. But where? What do feathers come from first, though? What has feathers? Birds. Yeah. Birds. You know what else had feathers way back in the day? Dinosaurs. <gasps> what? what? Very you cool. Some dinosaurs have That's feathers now. Sound. Cool. Okay, here. Let's see what a feather looks like. You chose the feather. So, so birds, birds, they grow new feathers every year. That's why sometimes when we go on our nature walks, what do we run across? Birds. We find feathers, feathers on the, on the ground, ground, don't we? Because birds are constantly shedding their feathers and growing new ones. Just like Here. just like us with our Here. skin. Here, shine, shine. See, shine, see. You, you turn. Here, let's put this one in now. You take a look. Birds keep their feathers neat by zipping the yeah. tiny branches together. Wow. So uh, I've got my really cool Minnesota Zoo hoodie to keep me warm. <laughs> Birds use their feathers in order to keep them warm, right? And uh, it's very fluffy. Is this my teeth? <laughs> what is it? It's teeth. It is. It's teeth. teeth? Wait, why did why did wait why did we pick out the teeth one? Because I lost two teeth. Because you lost two teeth. <gasps> wow. Cool. Very cool. After this video, you can go watch the Tooth Fairy video and see. And see that day when I lost the tooth. Cool. Let's see what teeth look like in the okay. microscope. Okay, let's put it down. Wait. You, you chose Listen. the human tooth. The covering around the tooth is the hardest thing in your body. Teeth have 20 teeth. Grown-ups have 30 teeth. A tooth has roots like a tree hidden under the gum. Wow. Another fact. Move I've got a fact for you guys. What? Teeth are actually a bone, but they're not like bones that are under your skin. Yeah, they're the only bones that we have that are actually exposed, right? And those are the only bones that you can see. I want to pick out one. All right, you want to pick out a slide? Yeah. All right, which one did Schroeder pick? This Looks one. like some structures from the body. I want to go let's, this one first. Let's take a look. Okay, here, Schroeder, help me put it in here. Here. Oh, got to flip it over here. Okay, what's what's this now? You chose blood. I see blood. blood. A sticky web traps red blood cells to stop the bleeding. Here's the next These fact. red blood cells look like flat basketballs. White blood cells are bumpy. Red blood cells carry oxygen to all parts of your body. White blood cells fight germs. Wow. <gasps> White blood cells fight germs. I, I have heard of that. All right, here's our last fact about blood. Let's listen. Blood is made of mostly water and different kinds of cells. Tiny parts that all living things are made of. A blood cell can travel all the way around your body in less than a minute. Okay. Let's learn another fact. Wow! Less than a minute because it has to take that oxygen from your lungs and you. get it through your heart so that it can pump all over your body. <laughs> and science is like magic, but, but real. Real. <gasps> real. It is. It's very cool. 
All right, did we have fun with our microscope today? Yeah! Was it really cool learning about, uh, learning about things at the microscopic level? Yeah! All right, we hope you had a whole lot of fun as well. I know I, I, I definitely did. So we're gonna keep playing with this. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button down below. See you guys next time, and please, and peace,